moment when I realized that every video that I filmed recently has been like tilted. I'm sorry about that. Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Money Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today I have a like this this challenge. I remember when I first saw Books and Lala do this challenge and I was like, I wanna do this, and that was like little bibi bitty itty bitty baby Monica back in let me check 2019. So that wasn't that long ago. <laughs> it feels like it was a long time ago, but this is the do you know your books challenge? Now, how does this challenge work? I'm gonna read it here. Using numbers to lead you to specific books on your bookshelf, see if you can answer the following questions about the books without looking them up. So basically, I asked my lovely followers on Twitter if they would give me like coordinates for my books. Now, I told them to pick a number from 1 to 100. I do not have 100 shelves, let me tell you that. This is not that house, <laughs> you know? But I decided that I'm just gonna like, if somebody says 61, I'm just gonna take the six and then just do it because I actually have 10 shelves. I have one up here you can't see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 shelves. Ha! So this really just worked in my benefit. So I don't know how many questions there are, but they are, they look to be a lot. Let me count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 27, 27, 27, 27, 27. And I got 31 answers on that tweet, so I can actually do it with that tweet alone. So you know what? Let's get started. I'm going to try to insert um, everybody's <laughs> like name that left me a tweet. So the first one is from my very beautiful, wonderful, amazing friend Elfie and she says shelf 7, number 41. So what we're going to do is it's going to be like this, 1, 2, 3, and then we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, okay? So she picked shelf 7 and I just said which one that was and I don't remember, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, okay. This shelf down here and she picks number 41, so let's see. Forty, forty-one. All right. So here's the book. I'm not gonna look at it. And it says, without looking at the description, tell us what this book is about. And this book is Among the Betrayed by um, Margaret Peterson Haydix. And I know exactly what this book is about. This book is about a little girl who is a third child, and she is put into this, uh, she's basically like taken by the government, and she's put in this horrible cell with these other three third children. My cat is in the little box. We'll be back after this pause. Thank you, Sushi. All right, now that my cat is out, as I was saying, this is the story of a little girl, I don't remember her name, but she's put into the cell with these other three little third children. Now in this world, third children are usually killed off by the government or they're basically left in cells to rot and die. And I really loved this book. I loved reading about how she is used to just living on her own, looking out for herself, and then suddenly she has to look out for others and it's just, an amazing amazing book so one for one so the next coordinate was sent to me by one of my very best friends you guys don't know anything about her she doesn't have a booktube channel but she's my best one of my best friends from Venezuela her name is Natalie and she sends me one and seven so this is number one and let's count one two three four five six seven so we've got this one and let's see the question number two without looking it up what is the genre of this book this is a nature writing book by Miss Diane Fossey and it's about gorillas. You know what? I'm, I'm kind of feeling myself right now. It's like, yeah, girl, you know your books. It helps that like this is just nonfiction. <laughs> All right, let's see, what's next? The next coordinates came from my friend Sarah at Voyage in Words and that is 3 and 78. So. We're gonna go one, two, three, and I have all of these books down here, and I'm gonna count to 78. Don't worry, I'll speed it up for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. Eight, nine, ten. So it's here, and then ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we've got this book here, 
And the question is, I'm gonna get these all confused. You're gonna see. Okay, without looking at the book, tell us what this book, what the, what, what is the cover of the book? Now this is really easy because this is Rebel Rising. It's a Star Wars book by Beth Revis, and it's got Jin Erso in the like. The cover is kind of white with reddish, and I believe it's got maybe Saw Gerrera and some spaceships. Okay, okay, I, 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 I'm gonna give that myself that one. It's got Jin Erso. It's kind of white and reddish it doesn't have spaceships but it does have i'm gonna say that one of these oh no these are stormtroopers but still i'm giving it to myself so far so good the next coordinates comes from lena from uh sufficiently advanced lena and the first one is four and 54 so one two three and then we've got four sadly on that shelf i only have a couple of books but she picked number four no, so 54. So you know what? Since on that shelf, I only, you can't see it, but on this shelf, let me, I only have that many books. Instead of doing the number 54, now, I'm gonna, now you're gonna be like all out of whack, but whatever. <laughs> so since in that shelf, I only have that many books, I'm gonna go with book number five. And that is this one. Without looking it up, what's the main character's name? Paul. His name is Paul. Okay, next coordinates is 1 and 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I've got the book. I'm not looking at it. Without looking, name a side character. Oh! You know what? I'm gonna go with... Oh, but are those the two main characters? Because I think Elsa the lion is the main character. But then Joy... Addison is also the main character But I'm gonna go with one of them <laughs> All right, uh, but I, I I don't remember her husband's name um, George could be have been I'm gonna give myself that one because I remembered Elsa the lion and Joy well then you know what no that doesn't count because literally oh no Elsa's name is not on the cover so Yeah, I'm gonna give it to myself <laughs> is that cheating? Am I cheating? All right, let's look at the next one. Okay, six and 66. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's on my favorites, so I better know this. <laughs> Editing this is gonna be not fun for me. So 66. So we're gonna start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. The next one is sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I got it. Okay. So, guess how many pages the book has without looking? So I can take it out. You can be 25 below or 25 above the number. I'm gonna say this is... 250. You can't see that. Let's see. There you go, 285. So I was five. I was ten off from the 275. Hmm. <laughs> right, I don't like losing. Okay, now we go eight and 23. I'm gonna have to go to those shelves over there because this is shelf number six, seven, eight, and that's this is gonna be fun because that is my unread shelf. So I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. I'm not gonna take you with me because I don't wanna take my camera along, but it is eight and 23. I'll be right back. Okay, I got this book. And without looking it up, what rating did I give this book? And I can tell you that I haven't read, rated this book because I haven't read it yet. So I'm gonna give myself that one. All right, so next, Jessie, her channel linked up here, gave me 25 and 72. And again, I'm gonna do, um, Instead of doing number two, because I've already done from this, I'm going to do number five, which would be uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, which we haven't done yet. I'm going to do five and then 72. Okay, so I'm going to count 72. I'm really bad at this, by the way, like counting. These are just post-its that I'm taking down. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I got the book. 
Oh, for the last one, it said if you um, land on a book you haven't read, pick up a new set. So I'm going to use this one for the last one. And without looking it up, this is the latest book I read. <laughs> so I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. And you can look it up on Goodreads, I remember, because it was literally not the last book I read, but the second to last. So that is, by the way, the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin, which matches my hair. And I just feel like... Like, this is going to be the thumbnail of this video. Okay, the next one. 13 and 96. So we're going to do 3 and 96. So, 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to do, instead of 96, I'm going to do 6. Okay, so I know that one's 5. 6. So we've got Fresh Water by Akwaiki Emezi. Without looking, where does this book take, take place? And I know this book takes place in the United States because somebody told me in the comments when I was talking crazy about this book. So apparently she goes when Ada, here it says, when Ada grows up and heads to college in America, a traumatic event uh, crystallized, crystallizes the selves into something more powerful. So I know that this takes place in America because somebody told me in the comment section when I was talking about this book. <laughs> and now we have 11 and 64. So you know what? We're going to do 1 and 64. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here's 60. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's see. I've got it. I'm not going to look at it. Okay, again, sorry if this looks weird, but I had to like stop. Uh, so yeah. Mmm... I grabbed this book and it says without looking what are the parents names now I'm gonna show you the book that I grabbed Oop. and that is stuck in the ice and this is the legend of Shackleton's Antarctica and oh look it's by Carolyn Alexander I didn't realize that and there are no parents in this book <laughs> I mean I'm guessing there are like people have parents but they don't specify like there's no parent characters in the book so I'm gonna count that as a, as a win you know what from now on because I'm running out of space in my little thingy I'm gonna just gonna stop and then I'm gonna show you the books because this is getting a little bit out of hand all right so Next up, we've got 14 and 8, so I'm going to pick number 4 and number and number 8. So, give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm not looking, but it says without looking um, at the hardback, what color is the book under the jacket? And I'm sorry, you can't see it, but I know that this color is red. I knew it, I, I, I've always known it because I love the combination of the red and the blue. So... Was that cheating? I don't know. I'm going to leave it down here because I'm tired of putting back books back. Now, let's see the next coordinates. 12 and 45, so we're going to do two. So this one, I'm excited. Two and 45. All right. Let me count really fast. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty. So here's twenty. So one, two, three, four, five. Wow, this book is still like not even out of its casing thing that it came in without looking is there anything on the hardback yes these books um are this special edition and i know that there's not like they they don't have a dust jacket this is just the hardback and i knew that because that's you know i could see it <laughs> all right next it's three and twelve so three and twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve this one is not a hardback, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the nearest hardback. Yes, so I'm going to go to the nearest hardback, which is this one down here. You can't see it. It's um, uh, The Darkest Minds, and it says, without looking, is there anything on the hardback, like an imprint image of some sort? I'm going to say... Yes. I'm gonna say there is an imprint here. I think I'm wrong, but I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, that's right, I was wrong. It's just a plain old black hardback. So this is the first one where I'm like straight up wrong. <laughs> All right, let's put it back. 
Next up, we've got 7 a.m. 5, all right? From La Gordita de Tu Corazón. So I'm gonna go over there because it's over there. Yes, seven, eight, no. No, is this one seven? I keep forgetting, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this one is seven, so seven and five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, okay? And let's see what it is. Without looking, do the chapters have titles or do they have numbers? Uh, this is Among the Free by Margaret Peterson Haydix. This is part of the Shadow Children trilogy. And I'm gonna go with no. They don't have, they just have numbers. They just have numbers. Let's see. Yep. Chapter two. Just have numbers. And then we have six and two. So six and one and two so this one and it is without looking at the cover does it have an award on it i'm gonna say it does it does okay I'm gonna, it does, it, no it doesn't it just says bestseller it doesn't have an award it just says bestseller is bestseller an award i'll let you decide but i i think that that was a fail for me okay from connor no, that was from Connor. Now from Ben of Ash Hill, we got eight and seven. So it's those over there. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I'm back and I picked, I'm not looking, So Long Been Dreaming, which is an anthology of uh, BIPOC authors writing sci-fi uh, and fantasy. And it says, without looking, does this book have any author blurbs on the cover? Yes, I'm going to say it does. It does! It does! It says, these are ripe and rare stories by some of the most imaginative writers to come along by Samuel R. Delany. And by the way, if you don't know who Samuel R. Delany is, he's a two-time, I believe, Hugo Award-winning black queer author. So get on that train. Oof! I'm getting a workout with this. That was eight and seven. So now we have nine and 26. So again, over there. So I'll be right back. Okay. So the next question is, does this book have a author picture? And seeing as this was written by Charles Baudelaire, I'm gonna say, no, it doesn't. I'm looking. I mean, it would have like a portrait of him. Nope. No picture, so I'm giving myself that one. I don't even know how many I have right and wrong at this time. All I know is that I'm sweating. Next one is three and seven. So one, two, three and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I haven't read this book. <laughs> so let's see. What is the prompt? Without looking it up, is this author using a pen name? Dan Simmons is not a pen name. I have picked this one up. It's called The Ascension of Endy Man by Dan Simmons. And I don't think Dan Simmons is a pen name. So, good for me. Two and 22. So, two and 22. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten, one, two. So 22, and that would be, without peeking, what POV is this book written in? First or third? This is written in third person. This is Jane Eyre. I've read this, and yeah, her mother helped her escape, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, third person. I like, I, I, I think it's funny that it doesn't say like second person because I feel like second person is getting a compass. Six and one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and one. Dune. That's easy. Do, 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 do. Uh, without looking, are there any pictures or graphics in this book? There are no pictures or graphics in this particular rendition of Dune. It's 100%. Three and 13. So one, two, three. People love this one. Does this have an epilogue? I picked 13 Days to Midnight by Leo Hunt. I love this book. I never talk about this book. Um, and it the prompt is, does it have an epilogue? I'm going to go with no. It doesn't have an epilogue. Nope. 
it doesn't have an epilogue. So I was right yet again. Okay, the next one is, does this book have a prologue? So that is going to be 11, so 1 and 30. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 30. Does this book have a prologue? Yes? Does it have a prologue? Yes, it does. It literally says one prologue. Look at that. Ha! I am so proud of that one because I had no idea. Six and 22. So that is one, two, three. So six. No. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, six and 22. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. If there be thorns by Virginia Andrews, which I cannot get out of there without looking, is this book signed? It's not signed. That book is not signed at all. I know that for sure. All right. Without looking, do the page numbers have a design above or below or none at low or none at all? And it's seven and sixty-four. So this is six, <laughs> three. Yes. Yeah, so seven. One, two, three. Oh, seven and sixty-four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So sixteen. One, two, three, four. So we've got Ursula K. Le Guin, the world for world. I always say that wrong. The word for world is forest. No, I'm going to say they don't. No, they don't. Another win. Putting these books away is going to be fun. Without looking, are the acknowledgements in the front or the back or the book? And the book is going to be 9 and 32. So I'm going to be right back. going to go get number 9, which is over there. And... The, it's from 32. Hang on, I'll be right back. I'm back and I have everybody's favorite Brandon Sanders book, Steelheart. I'm gonna say the acknowledgements are in the back just because I feel like, like that, that's the most normal thing. And that is correct. The acknowledgements are in the back. Pat on the back to me. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this actually. This is a lot of fun. This is like a super fun pad. Okay. Without looking, what year was this book published? Oh shit, I'm so bad at that. Okay, so it's 2 and 72. Okay, so it's this one. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this would be 70. 1, 2. I'm going to say this was published 2017. Ah, oh, 2018. It's published in 2018. So no, got that one wrong. It was either gonna be 2017 or 2018 because I got that book rather recently and it was a new release. All right, let's see. And the last one, without looking what year did you read this book? And I'm not gonna pick any one over there. So I'm gonna go with number, the next one, which is number one and the book is number six. So one, two, three. Four, five, six. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no, I know exactly what year I read this. I know exactly what year I read this. This is uh, On Writing by Stephen King. Um, I love this book. And I read this the year I arrived in Spain. So that would be 2017. <laughs> and that's it, you guys. That was a fun fun challenge to do my hair is a mess now i'm all sweaty but that was a lot of fun i really enjoyed that challenge it was a lot of fun it's gonna be horrible to edit but well anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it um let me know if you guys like it when i do challenges like this i know everybody like talks about tags and how they're filler content but i really like doing them sometimes so yeah let me know your thoughts and yeah i have nothing left to say except my back actually hurts for some reason <laughs> But yeah, without any further ado, I bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that I post videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit that bell icon. And yeah, let me know what you thought about this down in the comments below. And I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye, guys. Oh, I'm tired.